this, the five million dollar Dubai duty free. Runners and riders with Jim. So the distance is 1800 meters. It's uh, on turf and here are the runners and riders. One is Aesop's Fables, uh, the Mount of Kieran Fallon. Two, I'm a Dreamer, Hayley Turner. Three, City Style, Bikel Barcelona. Number four is Little Mike, Gary Stevens. Five, Saja, the Mount of Sylvester de Souza. Six, Igugu, the Mount of Anthony Del Pesh. Seven, Ocean Park, Johnny Murta. Eight is Fulbright, Ahmed Tebi. Nine, Geoffra, Maxime Guillon. Ten, the Apache is Christophe Sumion. Eleven, Mushrek, Paul Hannigan. Twelve, Wigmore Hall, running in the race for the third time, Ryan Moore. 13 is French 15, Olivier Pellier, and 14 trade storm, Jamie Spencer. Five million dollars up for grabs. Will Little Mike get it soft on the lead? Will Aesop's Fables or something go and pester him? We will begin to find out as the last of the runners begin to head into the stalls, a long run to the solitary bend, calling them home. Terry Sparker. French 15 has loaded away. City Styles about to come up. And Trade Storm is drawn on the extreme outside. Moves up into the gate. And they're just about ready. The signal given behind. The gates are back and they're racing in the Dubai duty free. Wigmore Hall was very slow to go and Trade Storm immediately goes back and goes looking for the inside. Little Mike won the hop and leads. A Gugu goes to second, Sarge third. The Apache running fourth on the outside of Aesop's Fables. A length and a half to City Style, one away from the rail. Geoffre three deep, I'm a believer, on the fence. A length to Mushrek on the outside of Ocean Park, a length to Fulbright. Inside French 15, Trade Storm has found the fence, sneaking up on the rail, he's second last, and Wigmore Hall is a length and a half away at the tail of the field. Gary Stevens and Little Mike away from the inside, take them towards the back bend, leaving the first 400 metres behind in 25.5. Little Mike away from the fence at the 1,000 metres mark by more than a length to Shah Jar with a goo goo on the outside and again the South African mare is taking closer order. The Apache on the back of his stable companion followed by Aesop's Fables, City Style, I'm a Believer, Ocean Park in the centre, eight lengths off the lead, Geoffre wider out and then Mush Wreck followed by Trade Storm. Full bright French 15 and now Wigmore Hall went to the fence at the rear of the field as they win their way around the corner. 500 metres left to travel. Little Mike joined by a goo goo. She strode up on the outside, put ahead in front of the American. Saja has the rail. The Apache about to join in, then City Style and Geoffra is flashing down the centre of the track. Saja got through at the 200 metres mark. Saja took the lead. The Apache trying to go after Saja. Then a Guigu. Geoffra can't go on. Sarjar's in front for Sylvester D'Souza. And Saja. Saja wins the duty free from the Apache. Geoffra might be third from a Gugu trade storm running on at the end, but never a factor. Then French 15, city style, Wigmore Hall. I'm a believer. Little Mike couldn't keep going. Notion Park never in it. And then Mushrek. And then a long break to Fulbright and Aesop's Fables, the last pair in the Dubai duty free. A smooth success by Saja. Winning for Said Bin Saru, who hasn't won this race since 2000. He's won it four times in the past. Sylvester de Souza, what a big night for him. He lands a double. Saja, the first female to win this race since Ippy Tombi in 2003, 10 years ago, and won comfortably. Nice trail into the race. They didn't go that fast. Little Mike, however, had no kick at the top of the straight. The Apache is second. Geoffre, I think, is probably just third on the outside with Igugu, who's run best race, the carnival in fourth place, maybe with Trade Storm. That'll go to the judge. City style right behind Wigmore Hall never quite gets there racing on the outside of I'm a Dreamer Mushrek and French 15 closes that never showed Little Mike had it relatively soft out in front but eventually set it up for others disappointment was Ocean Park who was well beaten and never really seen with a chance but nice fluent performance good ride a lot of confidence come from that for Sylvester and Godolphin cementing uh, that association still further. And she's been one of the discoveries of the carnival. She's won the last three before tonight. Now uh, puts this valuable prize on her CV. Uh, she's a very, very good filly. She's by King's Best, the 2000 Guineas winner in the UK out of a Darshan mare. And uh, she's a really good sort. She's, she's won it well tonight. But as you say, back in the ruck, horses like Ocean Park and that, they never really kicked on at all.
double on the night for Said Bin Sarur. This race does clinch the domestic, or the title of leading carnival trainer for him. 19 wins he has had, and a terrific form. As I say, he won this race four wide race years in a row, from 97 to 2000. Sylvester de Souza is once again talking to Caton. Sylvester, this filly just seems to get better and better. What kind of a filly is this? Oh, she's a wonderful, and she's just got such a big heart, you know, and <laughs> four off the four, four is brilliant, you know. And, and I'm so pleased for the horse. Talk me through the trip. Were there any anxious moments? I, I was a bit worried, like, you know, the boys in the outside, they were shouting, trying to keep me in, but she's just a very good feeling, you know, and the horse come off the fence. So, and she both smelled well. Good filly, good stable, good jockey. Congratulations. Big night so far. Thank you. Yes, it turns out there might... No, he, he just hasn't really shown his, his form and... He had a relatively soft time of it, and the guys to hear no excuses because there didn't appear to be any. Ocean Park again, we're watching the rerun there, just a bit flat really. Just a little bit flat, yeah, seemed to be going okay uh, leaving the back, but by the time they got to the home turn, the point of the turn, uh, gone, definitely gone. Johnny Murder riding away and getting no response. So Sylvester de Souza, <laughs> delighted ballet as well, and uh, he'll be out to receive the trophy very shortly. Last year, Mikel Barcelona cemented his relationship with the dolphin because of his success this time you get the you get the feeling that um, it is going to be the same as Sylvester de Souza certainly is Said Bin Sarur coming up to uh, receive his trophy So Saeed bin Sarur just uh, holding his trophy aloft and uh, a man who's had uh, almost two decades of success for Godolphin has been their senior man uh, for a long, long time but joined in the ranks now by Mahmoud El Saruni. And the previous trophy uh, was received by Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, President of the Department of Civil Aviation and Chairman of the Emirates Group and Chairman of Dubai World and uh, presentation was made by um, Paul McLaughlin, Executive Vice Chairman of Dubai Duty Free. So Mr. de Souza up for his second time of the evening and I say cementing his relationship no doubt there's going to be some pretty pretty decent rides coming his way. Okay that gets the Dubai Duty Free behind us there's still two quality races to go Stayers next up Japan Cup winner with the hopes of a nation Gentle Donna they're well supported here you'll be hearing the noise from Japan if Gentle Donna hits the lead.